salute to you brothers and sisters uh if you don't know the lord as your personal lord and savior king jesus i encourage you to uh find him and learn of his ways give your life to him call upon the name of the lord and you shall be saved uh <coughs> excuse me i have a couple of scriptures and sort of a testimony I'm going to share with you. Uh, day by day, somebody who I was a friend with on social media gave him a number and we stayed in contact. He deleted his social media and he said he couldn't deal with the aspects of it. Uh, well, I, I can. I can endure all things because of Christ. But uh, that's another another video. Uh, he was bashing me for keeping mine. That's what he was doing. But uh, I don't have mine for me. I have mine for God. That, that's just, that was his first mark that I put on him. The second mark that I put on him, he continuously part, talked about the post-tribulation rapture and how the pre-tribulation rapture was a false teaching and, and something that sunk in. Uh, the word rapture is not even in the Bible. Well, I know it's not in the Bible. It's called the catching away. It's called the escape. Jesus said, pray you're worthy to escape. He said, my spirit shall not always strive with man. So what's he going to do? He's going to take his spirit from man off the face of earth. Talks about in 2 Thessalonians. Now he who will now let will let until he be moved out of the way, taken out of the way. So if that's not proof that God's spirit is going to be removed from the face of the earth and, and his people, and I don't know what it is, but I want to share... I want to share some scriptures with you concerning these types of persons and maybe it'll be helpful to you and, and I, I'm not going to call the person's name unless the Lord says that he, he's got a lot of things to learn and he would say stuff like oh I thank God that he gave me a dream that I, now I know what to do a prophetic dream and stuff and, and he would say I'm going to break up with my girlfriend now and I didn't feel, I didn't feel that was right. And then, and I would try to lead him against that. And, oh, no, God gave me the dream. I'm going to do it. And then he would come back to me and say, well, um, I'm not going to break up with her after all. I thought she was trying to deceive me, but she's not. And the Bible says double, double, uh, mind the man's unstable in all his ways uh, that right there was sort of proof to me that uh, some, something was going on okay and uh, I prophesied to him one time I, I seen a vision I seen his feet dance and he was just very hasty hasty type of a person going to and fro to and fro <laughs> And I prophesied, I seen him in a vision doing this. He said, I'm not stupid. And he said, uh, I never, I never go back and forth and, and to and fro and, and, and be quick about making decisions and stuff. So I just, I never, I didn't, I didn't answer him back. The next day he said, I want to tell you, I'm sorry that, uh, that uh, I know what you were talking about now when you said that, that you seen me in a vision. He said, the day's been hectic for me and uh, and uh, I got a lot going on. A lot of different people's calling me, trying to get me to go here, there, and everywhere. So you see, the, the prophecy came to pass. So that was proof to him that I was what I, I said I am. And uh, God confirmed his word uh, and then he said, after that, after all that, he went through all that, he said, well, I, any any one of us can do that. Um, 
at any time if God feels the need to use us and all. And I said, well, okay, well, I guess I'll have, I'll have vision, you know, all, all are me, everybody's me, you know, we're all the same. So that's his form of teaching on that matter. So I let it go. I said, okay, well, that's the way you see it. I got some scripture I want to um, share with you. Uh, it's uh, 2 Peter uh, 2 and 1. It says, But there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and, and bring them upon themselves swift destruction. I was also sharing him <clears throat> a few people who uh, I've learned a lot from and I admire and look up to. Uh, never putting anybody before the Lord, but understand that God gives appointed people in your life and that could teach you things. And uh, they're elders of the church, and and whenever you're elder, then you can teach. Until then, you can't can't do nothing. We can't do anything until God says or commands. Well, one of them was Billy Graham, another was Perry Stone, and another was uh, John Hagen. I learned a lot from those over the years. Billy Graham's gone on to be with the Lord. I don't care what nobody says. I see his fruit. Um, there's a lot of people out there who are very deceived, and, and the Lord gave me this word to them. Critical and hypocritical. Critical and hypocritical. If you can't see that that man Billy Graham was humble, and he and and he he did he did what he did for the Lord up until his 90s, preaching the gospel. If he did that under his own power, if people think he did that under his own power, I don't know what in the world is wrong with you. You can't do anything in your 90s under your will. That's God. That's God's will. Okay? First and foremost. But this man that I was telling him about and I told him about, he said, I don't watch televangelists. I said, okay. He said, I don't go to church either. I said, no, he, he don't watch televangelists. He don't go to church. He don't receive correction. He don't receive prophecies. I'm starting to mark all these things down. Uh, in my book, I'm just going to be honest with you about the post-tribulation rapture. Irvin Baxter teaches it. Perry Stone teaches against it. If if you're going, to, he he said he said he has the spirit of Leviathan in him. He said that Irvin Baxter is uh, pre-trib and Perry Stone is post-trib. That's opposite. That's the spirit of Leviathan. He swapped the two. He watched a video that, that, that I recommend him watch. And he swapped the two teachers for one for another. That's called the spirit of Leviathan. See, that's, that's, that's one of his main issues that he's facing. He, he reads something and then his brain flips it. So, uh... That's another issue that he has going on. But uh, if you read the Word of God in its purest form, you can clearly see what's said. It said there were, there were false prophets among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. That's a prophecy. There's going to be false teachers among us. Who privily shall bring damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and upon themselves swift destruction. Well, if if you're against if you're against the body of Christ, if you're against a preacher, a teacher of of, uh, of the cross, you can bring swift destruction upon yourself. You're teaching heresies damnable heresies and this will land you in hell you think you there is a way that seemeth right unto man but in there are the ways of death 
You're out there thinking you're preaching the gospel and you're preaching your own gospel. You're not preaching the cross of Jesus Christ. You're not preaching grace and salvation and mercy. You're preaching some uh, FEMA camp video that you watched or some unbeliever told you that there's a conspiracy of Zion and, and, and fake Jews that are over there in Israel. You know, some crazy, wacko belief system. That's what you believe in now. Post-tribulation rapture, let me tie you in to those who believe in post-trib. And it makes no sense to have your head cut off, the Lord come riding, riding on a white horse, and then uh, we go up to heaven and he puts his kingdom on earth. Uh, he going to be here on earth for a thousand years. We'll be up there in heaven waiting on him. That makes no sense whatsoever. But anyway, post-trib. People who believe in post-trib are Jehovah Witnesses, Mormons, Catholics, and most Baptists. Pentecostal and holiness people usually, and righteous people usually don't preach or teach on post-trib. And uh, if you look at all those people and line them up, Mormons, Jehovah Witness, Catholic, you see false, 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 false teacher, false teaching. And uh, the same ones who, who cried that Billy Graham was an Illuminati Mason are the same ones who are saying, you know, that, you know, there's a post-tribulation rapture. There will be no need to be raptured in the post-tribulation. No need whatsoever. That is when Jesus comes to establish his kingdom on earth and the earth melts away with a fervent heat by the judgment of God. New heaven and new earth. That's not time for rapture. That's time for uh, renewing. And um, this one here in Ephesians 5.11 it says have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather reprove them I see a lot of unfruitfulness um, he would talk about how he didn't watch uh, Perry Stone John Hagee Billy Graham it's because they didn't teach the way he liked but uh, he watched Charles Stanley I thought you didn't watch televangelists that's a lie. That's unfruitful. That's deception. So it says, reprove them. So I rebuke them. And I don't talk to them anymore. And he wants to know why. Right here in 2 Timothy, verse 3 and 5, it says, Having a form of godliness, but denying the powers thereof, from such turn away. Um, he had a form of godliness. But he denied the power when the Lord prophesied a thing to him. He denied that power and denied that prophecy. And then when it came to pass, he, he, he made up some credible, well, we all can do it or we all, you know, are this or that or the other. He claimed to be a watchman. But this watchman, so-called, was watching the wrong things. So he erred in faith some, some, somewhere along the line. And it says in 2 Timothy 3 and 13, But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And that was a, a big prophecy right there that's coming to pass in the church and on YouTube and out in the world. That they're deceiving others and they are being deceived by others. They won't accept the truth. And uh, when you move by the Holy Spirit, that's not a uh, ear itching or ear tickling movement. It's a very powerful movement. And those who have fruit and bear fruit can see the fruit and the movement and feel the Holy Spirit. Those who, uh, let's go back. 
having a form of godliness but denying the power, they can't see that. They just have a form. They don't have the power. They can't see the power. They can't witness the power. And it says from such turn away. So if I try to witness to somebody or if I try to tell somebody something and they won't, won't receive it or if I have a gift that's being in operation and they deny it, the Bible says to turn away. I don't like such. They don't like me and I don't like them. That's a two-way street. But uh, I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, don't believe every video on YouTube. Don't believe every person that say they're a Christian. But rather, look for the fruit. And look for the power of God and the movement of God of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Ghost. To bear witness in that person and with you. Always. It's very important in these last days that we don't receive false doctrine. Because those such persons vex our spirits. And they confuse us. And they uh, try to take our faith and steal our joy. But the faith is, uh, faith is such as uh, things that uh, it's uh, th the absence of things unseen. It's intangible. But we still have faith in it and we know it's there. We can witness it. I hope this uh, video is rather lengthy. I know. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. But, uh, I hope it's helpful to somebody out there that help somebody that may be going through the same same situation you could lose those persons from turn it says from such turn away it says reprove them it says rebuke them um the lord says now is the acceptable time to let them go let them go down their own path of destruction and bring upon themselves swift destruction damnable heresies so let it be just pray for them. But you don't have to bear with them. You don't have to go down that path with them. In Jesus' name, keep looking up. Pray your word to escape. Escape the things that are coming upon the face of this earth. In Jesus' name, holy salute. God bless you.